Thank you once again for your time, Rebecca. It's a pleasure. Now, you're the spokesperson for National Tree Day and Planet Ark. That's, that's it, exactly. Tell our viewers how you became that. Well, I was working in television. Uh, I'd been an actor for uh, most of the last 30 years, or until I joined Planet Ark anyway, which is now coming up for nine years ago. Um, and I've been doing Channel 9's Our House for, for over nine years. That came to an end with the sad death of Shirley Strawn yes, in a helicopter accident. That. And I was scratching around thinking, what am I going to do next? And one of the directors of Planet Ark, who happened to be a neighbour of mine, and for whom I'd done one of their community service announcements uh, promoting steel can recycling, said to me, well, come and work for us. And I said, well, I'm not really trained for anything much apart from what I do. And he said, well, don't worry, we'll find a niche. And so I've carved myself a niche. I'm sure, like myself, most of the public would just take one look at you and know exactly who you are, and that's probably why you're the best ambassador they could possibly have. Well, that's very nice of you to say so. Um, I'm a bit longer in the tooth these days. Uh, thankfully, uh, for all those radio fans out there, the voice continues on uh, long after the face has fallen. So, <laughs> Is there any chance, Rebecca, would you ever look at going back into TV these days? Because it's changed a lot since you were there, hasn't it? It has changed a lot, Fred, but what hasn't changed is that it's still pretty much a young person's game. There are precious few really good roles for, for middle-aged women, uh, women generally and middle-aged women particularly. Uh, and also, you know, I'm passionate about what I do. Working uh, in, in a cause-related industry uh, has got into my blood, I must say. Now, you're doing a wonderful job with Planet Ark. Tell us about National Tree Day, because I'm looking at my notes in front of me. It's telling me it's on Friday the 29th of July and the 31st, which is Sunday. Is that right? Yes, Schools Tree Day is on the Friday preceding the Sunday, always the last weekend in July. And uh, about two-thirds of our, our vol volunteers and sites every year are school kids generally planting in their own school grounds. So that's really important for them to have that hands-on experience to counter so much of the, the bad news that people are hearing about the environment. You know, research tells us that people really want to do something, but they're not sure what they as individuals can do to make well, a difference. That was going to be my next question to you. Why do we have National Tree Day? Why do we need it? Well, it started out in answer to, um, you know, when I was a kid, there were Arbor Days uh, that differed from state to state. And, and Planet Ark thought that it was really important to have one national day that celebrated um, our natural environment and our native plants and, uh, you know, all the, the um, habitats and ecosystems that those plants support. And so National Tree Day was born and it's gone from strength to strength. We're now in our 16th year and every year we get about over 250,000 volunteers. In fact, last year we got 280,000 volunteers and we put 1.25 million native plants in the ground. So we've put in over 16 million over those years and we've had 2.5 million volunteers involved. And it appears that, that it's growing every year, isn't it? It, it is growing every year, despite um, dire weather conditions. I mean, in the eastern states, we've come through the drought, but I know that you in the west are still struggling in many parts of the state it is. against we, drought. We, we've had and that's why we emphasise planting uh, plants that are native to the local area so they can best survive local conditions. But it's also, it's not just about planting, it's also about bush regeneration, seed collecting, maintenance of, of areas that have been planted in the past. So there are a whole range of activities that can come in under the National Tree Day banner. For National Tree Day, what do people have to do, Rebecca, if they want to register? They can go to the website, which is treeday.planetarc.org, or if they want to speak to one of our uh, really helpful people in our, in our solar-powered information centre over here in the Blue Mountains, they can call 1300 88 5000. And they can either register as a site coordinator or they can just find where the nearest site is to them. And we've already got over 92 sites with, uh, registered in WA. So That's fantastic, isn't chances it? Chances are your viewers and listeners will be able to um, uh, find something near them. So it's going to be all around Australia? That's for sure. It's a national day and, uh, you know, people get involved in, in businesses, in schools. Toyota is now it's the 12th year that Toyota have supported the event and we've got Toyota dealers around the country who are involved in their communities. 
sourcing the plants, providing labour and, and just general support to their local communities. So it's a, a great community event. We get bush care and land care groups in South Australia. They're the wonderful Trees for Life organisation who do a lot of planting. And, and, uh, and so it's an opportunity for people to, to think about joining those groups as well. It's think wonderful. about joining your local bush care group. Wonderful opportunity and National Tree Day is making it happen. So it's fantastic. What are you doing on the day, Rebecca? I'm going to be involved in our media site here in Sydney and um, probably doing a bit of filming of, of uh, uh, you know, it's such a joy to see children out there and, and families uh, getting their hands in the ground and talking to them. And, you know, you, you hear grandparents say, I'm, I want a better future for my, for my grandchildren. And people saying, you know, this is our local park and we really want to see it maintained and, and enhanced for our kids to experience. Because a lot of kids now, of course, uh, living in urban areas have very few opportunities to get out in, into nature. So I agree. They're all playing Nintendo these days. They are Facebook indeed. So it's a great day to get out. Thank you very much. Good luck with everything on National Tree Day. Rebecca Gilling, you're doing a wonderful job. Well, and thank you, Fred, for helping us get the message out. And I look forward to seeing you on TV again, maybe hosting a Kerry ann type show. <laughs> you I'll never push know. that barrel. Well done. <laughs> thank you very much for talking to us today and good luck with the event. Thank you, Fred. Thank Great you, Rebecca. To talk to you. That's Rebecca Gilling. She's the coordinator of National Tree Day. And you'll all remember her from all the television stuff that she's done. So please check out our website for more details, which is, of course, thecouch.com.au.